Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, today, um, we're going to be kind of doing another type of off-the-wall video. You know, this is actually going to be very similar to um, the $5 PC video that I did around, I think it was on uh, uh, July 4th, uh, which was, uh, you know, a, a few months ago. And a lot of you guys were saying in the comments, you were saying, oh, could you do more videos like this if, you know, you ever found more computers like that? And, you know, of course, that was a kind of a really fun video to make, even though that, that computer didn't really end up working because it needed a, a new hard drive. But I got these two computers here from uh, a good friend of mine. And um, these, actually, I, I know that both of these uh, don't have hard drives, but uh, he just, you know, basically gave them to me and said, uh, you know, that he can't really do much with them and, you know, he just wanted me to have them. So, um and yeah, so we have, uh, you know, we're going to be taking a, a look at them today and seeing, you know, what we can do with them. And I'm, I'm probably going to be, you know, trying to find hard drives for these because, I mean, I think it has everything else besides the hard drives. But I have uh, this one monitor over here. This is, you know, the, the one monitor that I always use. Um, uh, I have it hooked up and we're going to be testing out uh, both of these uh, computers. Actually, let me just plug in my camera here because I started and I had the... Like, 20 minutes and now it's down to three minutes so yeah i think what we're going to do is take a look uh, at this larger pc this is actually uh the older of the two this as you can see uh, by that sticker right there um the camera will focus it it was designed uh for windows 2000 and i think it's a windows nt uh under that and this is a these are both uh pentium 4 systems but they're older pentium 4 systems this one was designed uh for xp and it's also an Intel Pentium 4. Both of these are uh, also HP systems. And yeah, so let's just take a look uh, at this larger one first. On the front here, you can see that we have uh, the HP logo. Obviously, we got uh, a three and a half inch floppy drive. Obviously, this was from the time when you know floppy disks were still in use. Um, people were slowly moving over to uh, the, the you know new CD uh, standard. I don't really think DVDs were that mainstream yet. Um, as you can see, or actually, I'm, I'm not even sure if a DVD even uh, existed around this time, because you can see here that both of these are just uh, normal compact disc drives. Um, there's faint text like right here that says compact disc. So, um, and I believe this one, this drive right here, was uh, added on uh, by the previous owner separately. Um, under that, we have uh, two USB. I'm going to assume 1.1 ports. We have the power uh, switch or the power button. And then I think that is the uh, indicator light for probably the... Well, there's the power indicator light. And then there's another... I'm, I'm guessing that's the uh, hard disk uh, read and write, uh, um, you know, light, <laughs> obviously. So we're just going to turn around to the back here. There's not much to see on the side. This is also a very heavy computer, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, here we are on the back. We have, uh, you know, your standard array of ports. We have your power... Um, down here we have uh, your two PS2, um, kind of bring it up here, we got uh, your two PS2 ports for a keyboard and mouse, we have uh, your uh, parallel port or your printer port, I'm guessing these are some kind of uh, the expansion port, um, so you got A1 and B2, we have uh, your, your like audio, um, you know, the, you, know uh, you can plug in headphones and a, a microphone, uh, two more USB ports, and your Ethernet. Um, at least I think that's Ethernet. It might be dial-up. Uh, actually, no, that is Ethernet because it's got the. Uh, it does not have the little telephone thing. Um, under that, we have uh, a VGA port. This was kind of also uh, around the time where they did not have uh, integrated graphics um, in most of these computers, so they all have um, you know separate graphics cards. So this one has a VGA only probably a very you know cheap uh, looking graphics card we'll you know take a look at it once we get on the inside under that we have what looks like a cable thing actually I think or, or no that looks like a wireless that's either a, a cable or, or no that says Linksys so I'm I'm guessing that is uh, a wireless uh, adapter and you like plug your uh, wireless antenna up, up into there and under that we have uh, your telephone modem right there so yeah uh, that, that's all the ports on this guy right here. Uh, we'll just take the, the side door off and I'll kind of show you on the inside. I have actually turned this one on before, but I didn't really obviously get to do much because there's no hard drive. Um, and we're probably not going to get to do that much because there is no hard drive, but I can kind of show you like uh, the BIOS and 
Apparently this thing won't stay up here. Okay, so we have a little bit of a better angle taking a look at this computer, and it is very large. Uh, the other one's not that large. Um, this is probably a, a full-size ATX computer, I think, or but uh, ironically, I think that's a micro ATX motherboard or a, a mini ATX motherboard. I don't think that's a full-size motherboard. Um, so yeah, we have uh, your you know power supply. I think that's probably only around 250 watts, so very you know basic power supply. Um, I think we only have 256 megabytes of RAM. We'll take a look at that once we get in the BIOS, but there's only one uh, RAM DIMM in there. We have uh, your cards right here. We have uh, the graphics card and the modem and uh, the wireless card, which I'm, I I'm pretty sure this thing didn't come with wireless and they you know added or had it added on or they you know self-installed it. Um, and we have uh, your PC speaker right there. That's what that thing is. And, uh, you know, to make, um, like, the, the post beep and, and sounds like that. Over here we have uh, your 3.5-inch drive and your two CD drives uh, right there. And we have uh, another uh, expansion bay actually right there, so that's actually nice. So we can add something else to this if we wanted to. And right there, with this stupid thing that wasn't going in before, um, it, that is where the, it can fit up to two hard drives. And it's looking at uh, full-size hard drives, I believe. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm, I always have, I always don't have any hard drives, and always manage to get computers that either have no hard drives or they have dead hard drives. So um, I, I'm probably gonna have to find some hard drives. If you guys know where you can get like decently priced hard drives, you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm guessing that's probably eBay, but I'm not sure if there's like another site out there that sells hard drives for a decent price. But I'm always in the need for for hard drives because I always get computers like this that don't have. Uh, any hard drives, but that is a brief tour of the inside, so we'll kind of put this back on here. Um, so we will make that in, it goes on, you know, very nicely. And I'm just going to uh, get this connected to the monitor here, and we'll get it booted up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have uh, the, you know, the obviously the PC we're still looking at, we have it hooked up to the monitor. And I only have uh, a keyboard plugged in because there's no way we're going to be able to use the mouse since there's no hard drive and can't booting the windows obviously, but uh, we're gonna boot it up here. You know, it it would be interesting if this thing did have a hard drive so we could kind of see like what, um, you know, what like what was on here and, and, and everything. Actually, I wanna boot into the configuration. Um, we, we may have to restart, or actually it's probably just gonna boot into it anyway because there's nothing to uh, boot to. So, yeah, HPE Diag Tools is missing or has not been found. So it's telling you inserts. Um, apparently, HP has some software that, like, um, I guess, is for like diagnostic tools. And so I just remembered that I had an MS DOS boot disk because it's asking, obviously, to put in a, a, a disk in a drive A. So I have a large thing of floppy diskets here. That I'm All right, let's hope this hard drive or this floppy drive doesn't eat my diskette because it always tends to do that. Um, all right, we got that in. Let's see what happens. It is booting. We got loud sounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing the, the floppy drive is bad on this. We'll we'll try that on uh, another computer. But let's just restart this thing, and we will uh, boot into the uh, BIOS. So we're gonna press F8, I believe it was on the post screen here, yeah, entering boot menu. So that's good. Um, we'll take a look at what uh, what we have here on this computer. So, okay, it wants us to uh, select the first boot device. Sadly, we don't have, uh, yeah, that is a high-density uh, drive. We have an OEM CD-ROM, and we have HP Diagnostics and a network. That's, that's probably what's in that slot. Um, we'll just do the, uh, actually, let's just run, no, we don't want to run Diagnostics. We want F2 for setup. All right, here we go. So actually, I did not get into the BIOS before. I just booted up and see like what it would do. But um, it actually is that the right date? It, yeah, it actually has the uh, date right. This thing has probably not been turned on since the last time I turned on. I didn't mess with the date at all. Um, the the time is is off. It's not. Um, that is not the time. Um, but yeah, it actually has that right. I'm surprised. So the uh, the the clock in here is not screwed like it usually is. Um, so let's see what we have here. 
processor we have a Pentium 4 running at, I'm guessing, 1.6 gigahertz. So, yeah, that's... Or 16... 1600 megahertz? Yeah, so it's 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, floppy options, we've got the 1.44 megabyte drive in the, 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 the only drive, obviously. Um, we have two CD-ROMs. Um, for some reason, they're in the secondary master. Well, I'm guessing that's because, you know, hard drives would go here, obviously. Uh, USB controller. Um, peripheral, you know, a bunch of stuff in here. Video configuration. We have 64 megs of graphic aperture, so... Uh, yeah, you know, uh, security, boots, um, it's an, it's an AGP graphics card, actually, so that, that gives you health. <laughs> Uh, how old this is. Uh, remote power on is actually enabled, so that is nice. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is the BIOS. It's gonna boot out of that. Is there something in these in these drives that keeps trying to load? I guess that's pretty much it for the first computer here. Um, there's, there's not really that much else to say. Th this would run Windows 2000, and if I have um, a you know, like Windows, or I think I have a, a Windows 2000 CD, but if I had a, uh, like, a working hard drive I could put in this thing, I'm, I'm probably going to do that, so, um, yeah, sadly we couldn't use MS-DOS because the floppy drive seems to be broken, but, uh, what else is new? <laughs> I mean, that's usually a common thing with these older machines. Um, so now let's kind of shift gears and take a look at the other HP machine right here. Um, take a look at this thing. Uh, this is the Windows XP machine, and it is a bit newer. I'm not sure exactly what the model numbers of these things are, because I didn't really look that up, but um, we have, uh, see, this is actually newer because it has a DVD-ROM built in right here, so that kind of gives you an, an idea this is a little bit newer. Um, we still have uh, your three and a half inch floppy drive, um, which the, the, the button's kind of messed up there. Um, we got two USB ports, one FireWire port, again, gives you kind of a, you know, a little bit newer design for Windows XP. This is the, actually the uh, 734N HP Pavilion, so um, if you guys want to look that up, and, you know, of course, I'm probably going to uh, see the uh, specs on this later on. Um, something actually kind of cool um, about this computer, there's this like, little door on the top here. And if you open this up, I'm guessing this is for storing uh, CDs and DVDs in here. And yeah, it, it actually is. It says you can store 10. It's kind of not really, um, it's like kind of not really easy to see on the camera here. Um, but there's these two screws in here that I'm guessing the owner left in here. There was another one. I don't know where it went. Um, is that it? I don't know where the other one went. But uh, yeah, it, it's in here and just kind of like rattles around. It obviously doesn't really affect the computer, but when you hear like that sound, that's, that's what that is. It's not something loose inside the case. Um, so in the back here, uh, let's just bring this up here, um, we have our, you know, standard array of ports again, uh, we've got your power port right here, we've got your PS2, we've got your serial port, okay, that's what those were on the other ones, um, we have, now see, this one actually had, uh, a built-in, uh, or, uh, integrated graphics, and you see that they covered up the VGA port, because they installed, for some reason there's all these arrows back here, but they installed uh, their own, you know, you know third-party graphics card, or maybe HP did that. Like, there was an option when they bought the computer. Um, we have uh, your printer parallel port, uh, two more USB, actually four more USB, an Ethernet, uh, your um, audio in and out, and your microphone. Um, again, that's uh, a graphics card. We have um, two more FireWire and two modem ports down here. So, yeah. Um, so, as a brief tour of that, we'll open this guy up, just like we did on the old one. Um, if it's easy, oh yeah, it is. It's got these screws on the side. I was like, if we got to like, get like a, like, I'd go out and get like a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, it's going to be a little bit, you know, too much. But, um, yeah, this is obviously uh, a smaller form factor machine. Um, it's, you know, it's a lot smaller than, than this one. It's kind of hard to see in the, the, the case in here, so there's a bunch of, of cord. Not the best cable management, but... I mean, on these on these uh, OEM PCs, not really the best cable management anyway. Um, we have the power supply, which is a really, really small power supply uh, right here. Or it's a elongated one. I'm guessing it's a, 
Yeah, I think I'm guessing that's what it is. I can't see the wattage of it, but it's probably very similar to the other one, probably like 250, 200 watts. Um, we have your two, uh, your DVD drive and your CD drive right here. Uh, we have your floppy drive. We have a bunch of cords from the power supply that are not being used. We have um, a, this is uh, the um, uh, modem card, the graphics card, which looks like, I'm guessing that is a uh, ASUS graphics card, and it's got like, it's cooler, it might actually be a pretty decent card, it's got more than just a VGA, it has like S-Video, probably not the best for, you know, playing games, obviously, oh, you can't, I mean, bring the camera down here, um, yeah, that is a ASUS graphics card, um, we have your power port, oh no, that's, uh, cords go to the USB thing, this little tangled mess right here, this goes to more USB ports on the front, and the hard drives, I believe, would go right under the floppy drive right here. This looks like the, the caddy for that. Um, and your processor is probably right under here, because um, that's where the, uh, the the cooler is and everything. So, um, again, guys, I need to get better at, like, pointing the camera at it. Yeah, this thing right here is where the processor is. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to put this back on, and we're going to get this thing hooked up to the monitor, and we'll turn it on. Okay, so we got this computer hooked up to the monitor. Let me just grab my keyboard here and kind of reach over here and press the power button on this thing. And yeah, this one I, I have not turned on before this video, so we're going to see what happens. Um, so HP Invent, HP logo, we got the, the boot menu stuff. Um, disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. Okay, so we're going to see what happens. I just put in a floppy disk. We're going to see if it... Okay, non-system disk error. Well, oh, look at that. It's stuck. Oh, never mind. Okay, it did come out. I'm just not too lenient about putting, you know, boot disks for Windows 95 that are kind of hard to find these days. So it's... Okay. Looks like it'll work. Let's hope it does. We've got the Windows 95 boot disk. I'm going to put it in here. You see what it does. Invalid system disk. Okay. Oh gosh, let's see what other stuff we have in here. This is probably a newer machine, so it may not work with Windows 95 stuff, but it's still worth a try. Disk I.O. error. Oh no, this is the same thing that happened before. <laughs> yeah, disk I.O. error. Um. Yeah, so it looks like the floppy drive is not going to work on here either. Let me just put my boot disk back in here. So we don't lose that. So, yeah. Not that we're going to be installing DOS on here, because we're going to be putting probably XP on this one and 2000 on the, uh, on the other one. But uh, I'm just going to restart this thing. I think it was F8, maybe F2, let me read the bottom here when it turns on. It is F1. Okay. I'm gonna enter setup here. And again, it has the date right. Again, now this one hasn't been turned on in probably years. <laughs> um, when he was last used an XP machine. Um, let me just get the, uh, the focus is a little bad. Um, so we have uh, primary, master, and slave. There's nothing in these ports. This is where the, the hard drive would go. It has the uh, CD drive and the DVD drive and the uh, secondary ports. Um, we got uh, your advanced settings. So this is a AMD Athlon at two gigahertz. I'm guessing. I'm guessing what that is. And we have 256k of cache. So that is that is good. This is an AMD processor. Um, well, actually, I thought this was a Pentium 4, so it's not. I could have sworn it was a Pentium 4 cigarette. Right so, no, this is an AMD Athlon XP2400+. Plus. Um, power, boot, there's your options for that. Um, I'm trying to see how much RAM, um, because there was not, I, I didn't see a RAM option in the other machine. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, 512 megs of PC... 2100 RAM, and we, yeah, it's a, you know, just normal DDR, so, uh, yeah, uh, half a gig, I'm, I'm, 
gonna guess the other one had had, had 256. It may have 512. Um, because you know, yeah, you know, there was just one uh, or, uh one stick of RAM in the uh, bank there. But yeah, um, so again, that is pretty much for this computer. We'll exit, save, change to the CMOS. I guess it doesn't really matter because it didn't do anything. Um, let's see if there's any other options on here. F10 is system recovery. We're not going to do that because there's nothing for the system to recover to. Um, so yeah, I think that is going to about wrap it up for this video. Now, I I, I know this probably was on the cameras. Rapidly trying to focus there. Um, yeah, I, I know this was kind of a completely random type video, but I've actually been working on, if you guys check uh, my Facebook and I think my Twitter page, I posted it there too. Um, I've been working on um, a you know video that takes a lot more time uh, to make. It's uh, a time travel video of a console. I'll, I'll I'll give you that if you want to see what console it is, you can go to my Facebook page and or my Twitter page, because um, it's I just kind of you know tell you what it is there, obviously. But uh, yeah, so that that video I've been editing is I'm going to try to get it done uh, in the next few days here. I'm probably get it done uh, next week. But I I know there wasn't a video this week, and I, I kind of want to get this out. I'm going to try to get, uh, get it out today. It's uh, Saturday today. I might get it out today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, we will see, but uh, yeah. Um, so that is that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed, um, you know, I, I know this probably wasn't that uh, interesting, as there wasn't really you know much software for us to uh, take a look at. But you know, if if you guys like seeing these old computers and you know seeing, I guess, what ports they have and you know kind of how they work and you know everything, uh, definitely be sure to uh, let me know, let me know down in the comments below and you know leave a like if you uh, enjoyed. And as always, uh, subscribe for new content like this in the future as I'm planning on when I'm getting new computers, you know, just to make a video on them if you guys want to see more of that. So, and I get new computers uh, semi-frequently, so we will see. And of course, I have all my old computers that I still have to make videos on that I have uh, not done yet because uh, I can get lazy sometimes, but... Uh, yeah, so again, I just want to uh, thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your uh, amazing support here on the channel. And uh, I will see you all, as always, in the next video.